Before moving on to the next operators, let's discuss one more thing. It's a combination of several operators just in a one update request. That's possible, and let's look at an example. In this example, we use set and unset operators, and both of them are included into the update object. Here it is. It's a second argument of the update method. So set is a key, here is value, then comes comma, and then unset it's a next key, and here is value. So two key value pairs separated by comma. Let's look at this in action. And let's change now document with an index 4. Now this document has just index, processed false and empty card. Ok, let's move to the next step and we will use update1 method. Here in the query will be index 4 and let's first set just field called new order and set value to true. And let's execute this, command enter. Let's go back to the find, execute find, and here it is, new order true. Let's now combine both set and unset operators just in one update request. Ok, let's remove first this part. So here is update object. Let's split it to several lines, like this. Then we will add first set operator, dollar sign set, curly braces, and on the next line will be dollar sign unset, and also curly braces. Ok, let's now add some actions. Let's split set to several lines and perform following. So card ID will be number int 435 for example. Then customer name, we will use dot notation, customer dot name, Samantha Larson. And then customer email, same dot notation. Customer email, and here as Larson at test.com. So here it is. That's it for set operator. And then comes unset operator. Let's split it to several lines, and we will just unset new order field. Just new order. And remember that we can use any value. Just use one. So again, what should happen? We will set such fields in a document with index 4 and unset field new order. So let's go back to the document and examine it once again. So processed false, card empty card and new order true. Let's go back to update and perform this operation. So command enter. In the result we see matched count 1 and modified count 1. Ok, let's go back to find and execute query. And here it is. Now I have card ID, that is an integer, and I have customer that has embedded document with two fields, email and name. New order field was deleted. Ok, let's go back to update tab. As you have just seen, it's pretty simple to combine multiple update operators just in one update request. You can combine not just set and unset, you can combine other operators as well. Let's go on and talk about rename operator next. See you shortly.